This is a very dangerous storm. I cannot stress that enough. A very dangerous storm. At bare minimum, we know this storm is rotating right near the Independence area, right around Highway 20. If we don't have the tornado threat either way, the severe weather threat is present. Wind gust of 50 to 60 miles per hour currently occurring with this storm as a very classic hook now on radar. It appears to be right along or possibly just south of Highway 346. Dresden is right here. Dresden, you need to make sure you are in your safe place right now. Your weekend planners, we go into the 4th of July. There's a slim chance for an afternoon shot or a storm in eastern Iowa. I think for the most part, the area will be dry tomorrow. We got mid 80s for highs tomorrow into Sunday as well. But Monday, that is our trouble spot. The flooding this time of year is a bit unusual. When you look at all the floods that have happened in Independence by month, We've only had two in the month of September, and that was in 2016 and 2018, kind of showing the trend towards wetter late summers and autumn. By early tomorrow morning, cloudy, dry, and cool, no issues. Around noon, that's when the roads will likely start becoming slick. There will be blowing snow ongoing, and the evening commute is when we will really start feeling the effects of this storm. The vast majority of crashes that occur during snow, 74%, about every three and four that occur in snow, happen with two inches of snow or less. So now we're at 13 consecutive days with measurable rainfall in the city of Cedar Rapids that now breaks the record of 11 days set back in August of 2007 and March of 1990. And tomorrow will be day number 14. Bridges are very susceptible to snow, especially this time of year, because wind passes underneath those bridges and it being completely exposed allows it to rapidly cool. And that's why bridges can be so much icier than normal roadways on ground. And this was one of the clearest examples I have ever seen. This was last night, US 218 through downtown Waterloo. You'll notice the roadway on ground, no ice or snow. Meanwhile, this part of the roadway is where the overpass is, and it's completely iced over. Now this weekend, high pressure builds in. That kills any chance for rain, but the heat sticks around. Temperatures will remain in the low 90s with plentiful sunshine. The catch is this weekend will be less humid. So we got that going for us at 2 minutes and 12 seconds after launch. Those solid rocket boosters, those side SRBs will then separate or jettison from the main core stage of the rocket. If all this new precipitation were to fall over a short period of time, that would be a problem. Here along the Cedar River and Cedar Rapids, that 3.8% increase or about 1.3 inches is relatively spread throughout the seasons. Meanwhile, though, at the headwaters of the Cedar River towards Austin, Minnesota, the seasons aren't all created equal. Springtime precipitation is up 9.3%, winter 15.7%. The Mississippi River typically moves about 500 million tons of cargo valued at more than $100 billion. While the water levels locally are lower than normal, downstream, the river is virtually impassable. And for the time being, things are quiet here in eastern Iowa. Live view over Iowa City, the frozen Iowa River there. But look at the current temperature. We're still above freezing at 36 degrees. Northwest wind at 6, that dew point up to 30. A lot of moisture in the air. That will be the fuel for heavy snow tomorrow. We do have winter weather advisories in effect for our eastern counties. Winter storm warnings in effect for our western counties. Don't get too caught up in what type of alert you are in. Just know the impacts are pretty much the same area wide by late afternoon and through the evening. Travel will become very hazardous due to heavy snow as well as blowing and drifting snow. Right now, again, things are quiet across the state of Iowa. Clouds on the increase is sign of more moisture on the way. Our winter storm right now fully developed right now across North Dakota. This will make a beeline toward the state of Iowa throughout the night with snow moving in around 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. In terms of the confidence, we continue to roll with moderate to high confidence with this system. There will be a large gradient of snowfall from east to west, lesser totals along the Mississippi River with heavier totals off in our western counties, including Tama and Grundy County. This will be a high impact of the evening commute. The timing of the snow is very, very unfortunate. We're likely going to be dealing with snow covered roads and low visibility just in time for the commute. And then additionally, even after the snow moves out, we still will be dealing with blowing and drifting snow well into the night into very early Saturday morning. In terms of your commute forecast by early tomorrow morning, cloudy, dry and cool. 
no issues. Around noon, that's when the roads will likely start becoming slick. There will be blowing snow ongoing, and the evening commute is when we will really start feeling the effects of this storm. Snow covered roads are pretty much all but certain. Blowing snow will continue as well, leading to again blowing and drifting snow with reduced visibility. We'll top it off for you with our predictor. Cloudy skies throughout the night tonight. We'll stop it here at 7 a.m. Notice some snow trying to make its way towards eastern Iowa. Dry air with this east wind will eat away at this a first batch of snow between about 9 a.m. and noon. That's when the snow I think really begins to move towards eastern Iowa. We'll stop it at 2 o'clock. Notice moderate to heavy snow falling here in eastern Iowa. That will continue through the heart of the evening commute. But notice just across and along the Mississippi River. That is where that line of snow pretty much ends. Dry air will be a problem off to our east. By 10 o'clock tomorrow night, notice snow is still ongoing. This is a long duration winter storm that we will be dealing with tomorrow. And then finally, around midnight to 3 a.m., that's when snow finally begins to pull out of our area. In terms of the snowfall forecast, here where we are, Waterloo at 5 to 8, as well as Tama, down to uh, Vinton as well, down to Sigourney as well. Cedar Rapids, Iowa City now in that five to eight inch range. We got three to six inches for Decorah over towards Fayette down to Monticello and Tipton one to three inches right along the Mississippi River. Again, lesser totals the closer you get to the river valley. The other issue on top of the snow tomorrow will be the wind throughout the late afternoon and evening. Notice the wind gusts really ramp up 25 to 35 miles per hour. That will lead to blowing and drifting snow early on. The snow will be wetter and heavier, but by the later part of the night, the snow is lighter and fluffier. They'll fly around in the wind. Also notice the wind crossing right over Highway 20, Highway 30, I-80. That will lead to enhanced low visibility and drifting snow over those roadways. After the snow, it just gets cold. 19 for a high on Saturday or two below zero by Sunday morning. A little bit of a warm up by early next week.